Hello everyone, this is Won Young Park. In this lecture, I'm going to go through SOLIDWORKS simulation. So in homework 10, you can see two cases to do a finite element analysis. The first case is cantilever. So I'm going to go through this one. So you know, uh, before doing that, we should make sure SOLIDWORKS has simulation. So go to Tools and here Add-ins. So you can see uh, the add-in box here and then this SOLIDWORKS simulation should be checked like that. Okay? So, and then you can see additional tab, simulation tab here. So now I'm going to go, so little uh, small triangle button and then click new study. Okay, there are uh, different uh, options to do finite element analysis. But I'm, I'm going to use static. So click this one. And then now I have study tree, simulation study tree. So first one is for applying a material property. And second is connection, but I'm, I'm not going to use this. The third one is fixture. You know, to, to apply boundary conditions such as fixed point or simply supportive cases. The third one, uh, next, uh, fourth one is external load is to apply forces, pressure, gravitational force, something like that. And last one is meshing. So let me start with this. So click, right click on that and then apply edit material here. The material windows comes up like that. And then you can see, you can find aluminum alloy. Let me choose. The so 60, 61 alloys here, all the details are here, and then click apply and click close. So now uh, it has green tick mark, okay, which means the material property has been applied. Okay, and third one is fixture. This is cantilever, one side is fixed and one side is free. So click fix geometry, okay, and then Rotate a little bit and then click this face. Okay, now I have the these green arrows, which means all nodes, I mean six degree freedom at each node has been fixed. Okay, and last the uh, the next one is the external force. So let me click it and then click force. Okay, so the other side. So click this face. Okay, and then the direction is wrong. So let me change the option of this. So select the direction and then specify the reference geometry. Click this edge and then click reverse direction. And then put 10 Newton like that. Okay, the last one is meshing. Just right click on that and then click create mesh and then okay. So it generates tetrahedra mesh, 10 point probability mesh, okay? So SOLIDWORKS only uh, allows to make this kind of mesh, okay? And then we're ready to go. Right click on the study one and click run. So it's calculate stress, stress distribution, displacement distribution, and strain. So double click displacement one, okay? And then let me choose the right click and edit definition of that. So I can select the each component of displacement. Let me select the UI and then change display, display factor, scaling factor, and then click OK. So now I have this one. So this, this is the maximum deflection of this cantilever. Okay, so please uh, compare this number with your hand calculation. Okay? Bye-bye.